Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Thanks so much for tuning in today for another review. And I've got another uh, review for the Pepper Palace. Now that's the planet's number one hot shop located in Sevierville, Tennessee. And I've been saying that wrong all this time. I've been calling it Sevierville, but uh, I was corrected. And I believe the correct pronunciation is Sevierville, uh, Tennessee. So I've got a barbecue sauce uh, from the Pepper Palace today to review. They've got a lot of awesome products. Hopefully you have a Pepper Palace uh, close by where you live. Uh, it's just a really fun place to go visit and check out uh, some of their products. They've got some really uh, fantastic tasting products and they've got some stinkers as well. But the one I'm doing today is a is a barbecue uh, sauce and now this is uh, Pepper Palace's smoking mocha barbecue sauce. Now you can see there right there on the label you can see some coffee beans so that ought to give you an idea of what this one's made with. So um, let's go ahead and get into this. Um, I'll go ahead and read the ingredients. Now this starts off with a lot of your basic ingredients in a regular barbecue sauce, but there's two ingredients. I've already shown you one that really make this one very, very special. So we start off with vinegar, and then we've got brown sugar, tomato paste, molasses, garlic powder, you know, that's normally what you find in a barbecue sauce. Then we've got smoked habanero peppers, onion powder, salt. Now here's the next ingredient which makes this one really good. Dark roast coffee. Have you ever had coffee in a barbecue sauce or maybe coffee in a, in a spice rub? It's just really, really good. And then we've got cocoa powder. That's the other ingredient that makes this one special. And then black pepper. Now as you can see, this has got just a really nice dark rich spicy look to it just like a barbecue sauce but uh, it's got that dark coffee and that cocoa in there which uh, really makes this one just outstanding I'll go ahead and say it now now the aroma on this it's those two ingredients that I'm really picking up on you can actually pick up on the that dark roast coffee and then that chocolate from coming from that cocoa powder you know you get your regular uh, barbecue sauce smell you get that sweetness from the molasses uh, you know, the brown sugar, tomato paste, you get all of that. You get some savory notes from the garlic powder that's in here, the onion powder. It's not really hot. You really don't sp uh, smell any uh, spiciness coming from the, the peppers, at least I don't. But just a fantastic aroma coming from the coffee and the chocolate. You know, I like a lot of different type of barbecue sauces. I like the vinegar thin mop sauces, which are very popular here in the Carolinas. I like the thicker, sweet, molasses, tomato-y, Kansas City style, St. Louis style, and then everything in between. But what really sets this one apart is the addition of that coffee and the uh, cocoa powder. But take a look at this. Just got a real perfect consistency to it. Uh, just really nice. Not too thick where it's not going to come out. All right. Poured a little bit too much. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Wow. <coughs> Excuse me, went down the wrong way. This stuff is amazing. It is delicious. And once again, you're getting that nice, rich coffee flavor, the cocoa powder flavor, which really adds a lot to this. You got your regular nice sweetness from the molasses and from the uh, brown sugar. You got that nice tomatoey garlic onion you know flavor coming uh, you know like you find in a normal barbecue sauce but the addition of the chocolate and or cocoa powder and the dark roast coffee uh, just makes this outstanding now, I don't have any pictures to show you for this review but I put this on burgers I grilled up some chicken thighs <clears throat> excuse me chicken thighs with it chicken breast pork it's fantastic on pork uh, so just a, a winner from the Pepper Palace. I'll give this a strong 9 out of 10 for flavor. This one's highly recommended. Uh, if you like a barbecue sauce but you're looking for something a little bit different, um, check this one out. It's really, really good. 9 out of 10 for flavor. Just getting a little bit of um, spiciness from the habanero peppers, but it's definitely on the low end. You know, Actually, I'm thinking 1 or 2, but I'll just give this a 2 out of 10. 
uh, for heat. Uh, that's at least for my tolerance, but uh, highly recommended product. Uh, Pepper Palace, thank you very much for sending your products. I do appreciate it. Everybody check them out. You can find them at the pepperpalace.com. Link will be down in the description. And like I said, hopefully you have a, uh, a uh, Pepper Palace located uh, close by where you can live so you can go in there and check out their stuff in person. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. And until the next time, make sure you enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.